Hi, my name is Charles Karanja. I took the cybersecurity course, which comprised of CompTIA A+, Netto+, Security+, and the Certified Ethical Hacker certification of EC Council. My name is Kerry. I am a manager of the IT and cybersecurity team. Uh, when I met Charles, I was um, a career consultant, um, or when I first spoke to Charles, um, which was in uh, 2017, um, and uh, that basically involved talking to Charles about what he'd done um, previously in terms of work experience, what he wanted to do um, going forward, and advising on the best uh, courses um, for Charles to do in order to get to where he wanted to be. I was working for a charity then, having a wonderful time. However, my heart was a bit frustrated with a few things that I wasn't maximizing myself to the full potential that I could have. I told my wife, I want to change what I'm doing. I want to move into a certain area and I want to do certain things. Not that I want to stop what I do with the charity. I want to continue, but I want to do it now from a different perspective so that I can at least feel that, you know what, at least, let me say I tried, not just I didn't do, I could have done it. You're never too old to start something new. May 2017, we had Wanna Cry. And when Wanna Cry struck, my wife, she couldn't understand exactly what was going on. So when she came home that evening, I, I explained to her and she just looked at me and said, have you looked for a place where you can go and study to get into cybersecurity? Because the way you've explained it, nobody's making sense for me and everything. So I called learning people and Kerry picked the phone, answered and answered my questions. Yeah, we had um, a conversation about um, yeah where, where Charles wanted to go really, which was cybersecurity. Um, that was his uh, the dream, and um, yeah, so we discussed first about the basics of hardware and networking before going into cybersecurity, um, and then about the job prospects really, because ultimately that's what it's it's not training for training's sake. You know, at the, at the end of the day, this is training to achieve something, and that would be a a new career or, or progressing in that career. Well, a few things that really amazed me about the conversation with Kerry. One of the first things that struck me was that she she wasn't pitching a sale. What she pitched for me was a new lifestyle. And that immediately endeared me because there were many places I had called and I could feel this guy's just want me to work for them. This guy's just want me to make money for them. But Kerry was not interested in how much money I was going to pay for the course. What she was interested in was I committed to changing what was going to be a new life for me. And I remember just telling my wife, sometimes in life you're just gonna take a step of faith and step out and do what you need to do. Um, and I knew that you were gonna achieve what you wanted to achieve. There was no doubt in my mind, because I don't think there was any doubt in your mind. You were determined and you were gonna to get to that point. And I just, um, every time I spoke to you, it was a delight. With the certifications I did, one of the first things that Kerry kept reminding me is, as much as you're going to apply for all kinds of roles, keep an eye also for entry roles into cybersecurity. And one of the best entry roles you can look for in cybersecurity is a SOC analyst role. If you can apply either for a junior SOC analyst or a SOC analyst tier one, level one, however it's going to be put, you will be at a place where you'll be able to learn so many things. Um, also work a lot with phishing emails. Mm. I think phishing is now <laughs> the biggest thing at the moment mm -hmm. we're dealing with in cybersecurity because mm. um, a lot of data breaches occur through phishing emails. Somebody just clicking on a mm. link that they shouldn't have been clicking and that link takes them into some malicious place. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing attack vectors coming from very interesting places. So uh, yeah, I would say if you are looking um, for um, a career in IT, um, whatever that industry is, whether it be cyber security or networking or IT support, um, we at The Learning People are basically here to um, give advice and guidance to people. Um, not a lot more than that. I mean, that's what we, um, that's what we thrive on. So speaking to people, um, for all different backgrounds, so you could be working in a warehouse, you could be working in an admin, we talk to people that are drivers, we also talk to accountants, nurses, 
um, teachers, um, and all of them are um, looking for, for that next um, role, that, that change. Um, and it's really satisfying for us to be able to provide that sort of um, advice um, to, to ask what they're looking for going forward and, um, and based on that, yeah, develop a learning plan um, set out specifically depending on yeah, what, what students know already um, and where they want to get to and then sort of set out what, yeah, the steps that they need to take in order to get there and um, give advice on the job market, the salaries that they, they would be expecting, jobs in their local area. Uh, the position that they're in, the, the skills that they have already, transferable skills, which would mean that you know they're able to <clears throat> enhance their um, opportunities. Cyber security has a need. You may be the person with the answer wherever you are sitting down that can be able to help somebody meet that need. So don't feel that you don't have the qualities. Don't feel that maybe you're too old. Don't feel that you're too young. Don't feel that, no, I don't know how to code. I don't know how to code. Yeah. I don't. But um, I'm in the field. And that doesn't mean that I'm not going to learn. But I am learning slowly by slowly what I need to do. And it's been a great walk. I hadn't sat for an interview for so long. And I remember telling Gary, OK, I've got an interview, I've got an interview. And she took me through the paces, what to expect what to do and it was great. You just have to know, you have to be passionate to work in certain places. You have to be passionate about helping people and that was what Kerry really kept. Every time I spoke to Kerry, I knew. Every time I passed an exam, I called out and told her, hi Kerry, done, passed. She would always appreciate and say, oh, excellent, well done. You could feel the smile coming through the phone. You could feel the warmth coming through, like keep up, keep for it. You could just hear somebody patting your back, telling you, go for it, next one, go for it. And you just knew that learning people are not interested because I paid money to do it. They're interested in my success because my success is ultimately our success. Genuinely, and that, that has always been my passion, regardless of what industry I've worked in, is, is development and supporting people and just hearing people's successes and what a difference it makes. That is the most beautiful thing, and that Thank you. I genuinely, um, yeah, Thank and I appreciate you. you so much for keeping in contact because it does make it all worth it. And you do know that if people put time into it and you put in it, it all of your effort into it, you will get out of it what what you want. You, you know, it is at the end of the day, it is a case of doing it, and I just think. When it does happen and, and you, the, the success that you've got from it now is just so impressive and, and yeah, I'm just inspired. Really. And so it's, it's lovely.